Yeah. So you don't want to talk about oh Charles Nelson Riley? I don't know that. Well, much I saw about you ta- him. say can how you, you, didn't, you didn't see his one man show. No. You can't. Yeah. No. So you were on Kevin Pollock's show, and somebody asked you Paul Lind or Charles Nelson Riley, and you said Charles Nelson Riley, and you regretted that you had not seen his one man show, which, by the way, I saw in and, L.A. And, it was and, fascinating. And, yes, and yeah. I, if you ask me, I would like to do his one man show. As Charles Nelson Riley, but not doing imitation because right. the thing is about Should Charles. Nelson. Okay, you you, you want to know why? Yeah, and and it sort of is uh, relates to this, is that we don't know exactly what these people are like. For instance, you're here doing Paul Williams getting a blowjob <laughs> from Shirley Temple, <laughs> but nobody has seen the beautiful picture of your family. That's true, right? Yeah, I mean. Good- there is another side, and he's a father <laughs> yeah. to Gilbert Godfrey. To two beautiful children. We don't know the other side. Butch Patrick, we don't know That's the true. other side. When I look on the playlist and I Caesar see Butch Patrick, Romero. Oh, well, <laughs> but no, Cesar Romero has, has – uh, but, but these, these are iconic people from our yeah. youth who we only perceive as we saw them when we were 10 years old. Right. They grew up. Our impression of them did not – our impression of Charles Nelson Riley is a fool on Hollywood Squares. Or a match game. Yeah, well, yeah, a ma- yeah, match game, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. And yet, a huge, a, a, such a literate man oh, yeah. directed operas, directed Julie Harris, best friends with the great American actress, Julie Harris and Helen yeah, Hayes, the sure, great American sure. actress. He was, he was a very friends. respected stage director. Truly a yeah. brilliant, yeah. brilliant man who, la, 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 you know, was, yeah. he, he was, so well, that's why, is because... You know, I tried to quit Spin City, and here's a f- fascinating thing. Ted Knight tried to quit Mary Tyler Moore. We show. just heard the story from Ed Asner. He told us. Did you just, have Ed Asner? Last oh, week. He's, he's so, so. Last course, week. But did, did he, he, he told us that Ted Knight— They believed he was yeah, an idiot. That Ted Knight went to Alan Burns and right. said, I can't play this part anymore. I can't anymore. do it anymore. Right. I can't do it. I can't do it. I walked out. You're an idiot walking down the street. That's how everybody perceives you. And I, I couldn't take it anymore. Uh, needless to say, they, they wouldn't let it. Michael Fox, brilliant, just had the I, – I went to Mike. I said, I, 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 got, I can't take it anymore. And he was so smart. He goes, I don't think my partners would allow that. Isn't that a brilliant – I mean, he was That's so really smart. Really nice Mike answer. Fox is just – a great guy, brilliant, more smart than anybody, and just a fantastic human being other than, than what he's been cursed with and, and why he's a hero now. Just a great guy. So Ted Knight, you know, but this is how we perceive him. Wouldn't you have loved to have Ted Knight on and go, of oh, course. oh, my but, but, God, but, but you yes. know he's smart. Well, Charles Nelson Riley. Right. And when I look at some of the people that you had, I go, oh, God, are they going to make – Fun, you know, but they they don't. They have they've evolved. Well, they're, yeah, we want we want to be adults. affectionate to these people because oh, we love because we love them. You only know them with we, affection. We love them, and yet when they when they prove like Larry Storch, here's a great thing I meant, meant to mention. <laughs> oh, hold on, here's a great bit of trivia. Oh God. First of all, I got okay. to work with Larry. So, okay, remind nicest. me, Larry Storch, because these are stories that I want to tell you because you're going to love them. No, these are. Yeah. I don't want to have these over coffee. You might as well do them on the air. But I worked with Larry Storch. Nicest Storch man yes. on uh, 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 on Broadway. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah. Do best. you know that F Troop was the hi- was one of the highest rated shows to ever be canceled? And do you know why? Ooh. This is something that, that he didn't. He no, didn't. I think I heard this is this interesting. Once. I don't think I know. Because they would work from seven in the morning until one o'clock, get a lot of stuff done, get it done, and then they would go out and have lunch, and they'd go across the street and get drunk, and they'd come back, and the whole afternoon was shot. They couldn't <laughs> really? remember their lines. The, every, when really? you think of it, Forrest Tucker could knock them down. Sure. Uh, uh, Edward Everett Horton. Right. Everybody but Ken Fra- Berry. Frank they were they were they were all drinking. Yeah. And that's why <laughs> yeah. the show got canceled. It cost them a fortune. They couldn't they couldn't. I never their, their heard week. that. Yep.